Hi, Hi guys. So I've uh, got some comments from people that they want to hear how gay people meet other gay people in Japan and not just, you know, through an app sort of thing, but actually how it happens, how you're flirting, how you're sort of sending signals. <laughs> really? That turned you on? That did not. Like, I'm actually very them, you know. curious, yeah, because I know me and Andrew have different approach to this. So maybe this is something that we are sharing from True. our personal point but of view. But I guess the thing is, is whether what we're doing is different from home. I was at a uh, STD clinic getting just a regular checkup, checkup. Mm. and um, I just got my blood taken and you know they wanted me to wait in the waiting room with like you know a band around my arm and stuff like that for five minutes to make sure that I'm okay and don't pass out. So I sat down and there was a, a cute guy across from me who was also there, right? And the thing is, is that's a general hospital, so it could have been anyone essentially it, it could have just been a, like a straight guy there for whatever blood work um but i sort of you know threw some things out there to sort of test the water be like oh like here for a checkup sort of thing i asked him essentially like oh are you here for the prep research mm -hmm. because that's they're, they're doing research there and i think especially in japanese when you say like put up food Mm -mm. You wouldn't know what prep is unless you are in the know. Uh, so that was like sure. my secret code, mm -hmm. you know? Um, so, and then he was just like, yeah, I'm uh. here for the prep research. And then I was like... <laughs> 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 because that particular hospital has quite um, like a, like a, like a service that is, that cater, not caters, but it is, is it has a very strong support system for the gay community. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, oh, it's high possibility. Yeah, yeah, high possibility that he is, so. And then in the end he was, um, and I got his number. If I'm in that kind of situation, even though that guy is hella cute, but it's because it's not like a non, it's a non-fun area. It's people there for mm -hmm. like your medical, your health situation. Mm -hmm. And I will feel like he's probably unbothered. Uh, going to check up mm. doesn't mean that you're open for mm. open conversation. Wanting I to mean, know maybe he people. did. There probably are people who say that, like, what the fuck? Like, yeah, stop yeah, talking yeah. to me, yeah. stop bothering me. You know. But you took your chance. I mean, you I mean, I might as well give it a shot. And if that's their response, then that's their mm. response. You pervert! You're a master of sexual harassment. I am proud of myself for doing that. Um, but I don't. I think it's it happens. Like I've had friends here who hit on people like on the train. I mean, I heard similar stories. Yeah. Actually, I heard another story. Like my friend, um, he and another guy just look at each other on the train. And he got off, the other guy followed. Mm. And also you had that in the gym, right? Like just by looking yeah, at each other. Yeah, you can look at each other, you kind of know, especially, so this is actually an interesting one as well, is because the actual, like the Turkish bath, uh, sento onsen sort of culture here um, is so prevalent, there's a lot of nudity going on. Mm -hmm. And you can tell when you're in there, people obviously, in the same way that I would be if I was in a similar space naked with women, I wouldn't be looking at women because I would, you know. So you can see the guys who are there naked, just literally there for relaxation or to, to bathe. Mm -hmm. And then you can see guys who are kind of obviously like checking out each other's junk. And that's exactly what happened in the gym, right? When I'm walking out of, you know, I think at that time I walked in, I saw him, I gave him a look. And then oh, I give went- me that, give, give it the look. No, just like, <laughs> And then I went and had a shower, and when I came out of the shower, uh -huh. I noticed him, I looked at him again, but I saw his eyes were not here, they were down here. There's more opportunity, I would say, here than in Canada to be in a space naked with people where which those glances yeah. could be exchanged because of the Sento culture here. The, uh, yeah, the bathhouse. The bathhouse, but, but even, even, bath. even in public, because the thing is, is like, um, Japanese people, they just, they tend to, it's interesting, young people oh. who are very, like, they'll walk around covering themselves, but I think in general, people are pretty unabashed, open. they're pretty open, right? Whereas, like, in Canada, um, people will, get, if they're, especially the straight guys, that like, they'll get out and they'll And then, you know, they'll, they'll run and they'll put their underwear on while, holding their towel. Mm. So they'll be like trying to like get their underwear on while holding their towel because they don't want it to drop and you know, the gay guy in the corner to look, right? So it's it's really like that. Whereas here, you know, people come out, they throw the towel over their their sure. shoulder, right? So there's a lot more nudity. Like they're used to it, yeah. So when I was much younger, not like now, 
when I was in college. So I was in Ichome. Okay. Uh, and I was just standing there mm -hmm. on the waiting for my friend. Mm -hmm. And they were like, Sanju da, Yongju da ish, like, kind of like, like that time. Uh, yeah, someone's like, um, like Ojisan at that time. Like okay. right now, it's not even Ojisan, it's Oni. It's just me. <laughs> <laughs> it was just me. Yeah. yeah, it's just me. So they came approach, just like saying, oh, you're very cute, and like, let's go have yakiniku. Uh... So, yeah, so it seems like it can be, it can happen. Yeah. And even it was a Jap it was a group of Japanese guys. Yeah. And, but I don't get the same treatment anymore, so. No, that's a lie. What? I know last, the, recently, you got picked up at a bar. When is that? When you were waiting outside. You were just minding your own business in Ninchome and you got picked up. What? Where, where, where was that? I forgot. So you were waiting outside on your phone, oh, minding I, your own business. Oh, because I told you I'm just yeah. gonna be a uh, bait. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, yeah. And they just like came upstairs and saw me waiting there and he just like getting very touchy mm -hmm. and say, oh, you're so cute. Let's go together. Let's go get a drink together. Like, kawaii, kawaii. No yeah. more, no more. What? No, no, no. Just don't say that. Uh, they took me to a bar and we had like some game games because I guess uh, lots of people are actually telling me the same that I don't look very Chinese to their opinion. Okay. So they didn't think I was Chinese mm -hmm. until we had more conversation in the bar okay. and play games. Okay. Apparently, you know, my Japanese is not up to the native level mm -hmm. yet. And they said, oh, Nihonjin mm -hmm. da And they realized it. And you don't look Japanese. <laughs> well, but like they feel, I mean, that's your opinion, right? But for them, they yeah. thought I could be Japanese. Okay. Um, then after that, we finished drinking. That guy just grabbed me and like pushed me to the wall and just like kissed me all over my face. <laughs> yeah, I, personally, I think you're very brave because I, I'm not able to pick up on uh, the guys. I've yeah. never done that before. Talking about bars where you buy people drink, do you think like it's common? Because I know in foreign countries yeah. that you buy people's drink, like let me treat you a drink that you show your interest to other people, right? Yeah. In America will be like someone, it's a line, yeah, true. you know, like, oh, let me get you a drink, which means he's interested in true. you, right? Like I feel, it, I, I, maybe it works in Japan, but I've never seen it happen before. Just trying to think, how do people signal in Nichome, in public? I, um, actually one day I was in, uh, just my personal story, like one day I was in uh, RT, mm -hmm. and I was actually by myself, mm -hmm. I was really bored because you guys all left. Mm -hmm. I was sitting there and there was a guy actually sit like next to me for the whole night. Mm -hmm. uh, in the morning when I, when I leave, he also like followed me. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. I think he was wanting me to react to it, but he was like, bye, I'm going home, yeah. have a good day. No, no, I was actually a bit sleepy because we were catching the first train, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So, but the gate of the train station yeah. wasn't open. Yeah. So I was sitting there I, and I fell asleep. He actually touched me, like wake me up and says, That's like, nice. it's open and tell me. And Shall we go? No, like that he, and I think he's waiting for yeah. something, but I just didn't respond to that. You broke his heart. And he sat the whole night right broke, next to he me. He sat the whole <laughs> night. <laughs> So like, I could go up to someone and be like, yeah, gohan shimasen ka, uh, okay. right? And I think that, or like asking someone if they want to go for tea, that's a very Japanese way, like in the language, we wouldn't say, hey, you want to go for tea? I guess we'd say, we want to go for tea. Do you want to grab a coffee? You want to grab yeah. a coffee, right? So it's a little bit different there, right? But I don't think, besides that, those little subtle differences, I would flirt in the same way in Japanese as I would in English. Mm. I feel I'm unlikely to be hit on if I wait. So, so like I have to be the aggressor. Aggressive one. Yeah. So uh, coming here, um, it could be a pain, you know, to always be like, you know, putting yourself out there. But I think that once you put yourself out there, it can be really positive. I feel like another thing is also because you are non-Japanese. Yeah. And people can be like, that that person speaks Japanese. Yeah. You don't know. You don't know. Concept. And I'm not sure if I if I speak yeah. English, if I like how much English I can. Yeah. So there's a bunch of that, right? Mm. There's a bunch of complications to the whole thing that we can exchange looks and it's like okay it's on me to make the next move because yeah i almost have 
more information. I've had people run away from me too. Speak English? Speak Japanese? I didn't know you could speak Japanese. Uh. Yeah. Um, I've had people run away from me too. Mm. When I've tried to go after them, it's speaking like, oh, Japanese, no, like, no, 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 no,